Hey everybody, it's Richard R. I'm Auto Diag, and today we've got a little Nissan Qashqai and we've got the red engine light and the yellow engine light on. Okay, so I've done a code scan and we've got our engine codes and our OBD codes which are whinging about glow plugs and DPF ash accumulation. Um, so I believe from speaking to the customer they had this boost code and the um, glow plug code uh, they cleared it uh, drove it on um, obviously nothing got fixed and now it has DPF code as well so we're gonna gun after this boost pressure circuit first uh, I'll probably won't show on the video doing anything to do with these glow plugs because I've done multiple videos before so that won't be too interesting and then hopefully if we can resolve this boost pressure issue then we should be good to go on the particulate filter issues there um, I'm assuming it's just a knock-on effect uh, potentially might need a clean um, but as I say we'll sort this one first so go in here yeah this ignition is on Right, so just a reminder of the codes, particulate filter, and this boost pressure ones we're after. So that's the P2263. So I don't know what Snap on says about it. Common replace parts, spinning circle. Oh, there we go. Uh, charge air cooler, turbocharge, boost pressure control intake splits turbo hose anything basically right so that's no use let's see what our turbo is actually doing go on focus what's going on here right uh should we go for engine that's terrible for focus isn't it Right, so we've got boost pressure at the top here. Uh, that's going to be roughly right, I suppose, on tick over, like atmospheric pressure. Uh, airflow doesn't look mega different. Intake temperature looks reasonable up here. Right, let's see if this actually does anything. Let's give it a rev. I don't know if I've got RPM here to show you. See RPM? Uh, no. We got this gross manifold pressure as well. Right. Let's see what this does. If we give it a rev, not a lot. That barely moves anywhere. Right. Well, I'm gonna go under the bonnet and let's have a look, we can check. I don't think we can see the turbos on these ones, but we can definitely check some, see if we've got anything obvious on any pipes. Um, I believe these are done by vacuum as well, so we can check that. Um, let's get under the bonnet. Yep, so we're under the bonnet. We've got obviously our main intercooler hoses down through here. Down on the intercooler, it all looks pretty clean to be fair. I think if we had any major boost leaks, we'd see a lot of oily patches. Some of them crack up around here. Not seeing anything like that. So, we could smoke test it quickly. I think I'll put that to the back of my mind for a minute. Um, so, we have turbo solenoid pipe that goes off down the back to the turbo and then we've just got the one vacuum pipe here which comes down to the um, vacuum pump here I just pulled that off so we can um, check our vacuum there right so what we've got here in a slightly en noisy engine bay is I've got the original vacuum pipe is off which comes up to the solenoid we are directly onto the pump here. And that comes up around to my gauge. 
and we can see on the gauge we nearly got 30 inches of mercury if I just try and get rid of the, the vacuum we'll see how quickly it recovers that's pretty quick I'm happy with that that's fine so I mean I suppose you could have a split in this hose up to here I'm doubtful we will check that's that back on that off and yep exactly the same and it recovers well that is not an issue on supply up to there nothing on that output side there nothing going on let's see if we can put this up here carefully on the windscreen come round snap on's out of fit right, let's see if I can keep you on that if I rev it we should see a change So we got no change there. Let's start, start and stop it. No, we got no difference there whatsoever. And this is just broken. Anything? No. Right, I'm going to restart this, and what I will do is we'll put the... No, we'll do that first. We'll put the thing in line. Let's um, change this vehicle and see if we can come back into it. Yeah. Right, um, what am I doing this on? Right, uh, 2014, automatic ID, yes, right. Still nothing. So we can see if we could force the turbo to work. We're putting vacuum direct to it. Which which so if we get rid of this and we get this one here from the turbo straight down, so that's direct vacuum straight down onto the turbo bit. Okay, engine, no 
okay. It's data parameters. Let's see if we can get this boost pressure back up, and we'll see if forcing it to work does anything. Sounds better. Yeah, we've got instant change here. Right, so we know the boost pressure sensor works from that test, and we know that the turbo will actually do something from that test. So we're looking at our solenoid valve, so let's break out a multimeter and I suppose we just use a snap-on, we just put a scope straight in the top, we'll get some leads out and we'll see what that does. Right, so I've got the multimeter set up, or scope on the snap-on set up, we're into the, to the red and we're just on the ground and as you can see we have a signal here. Uh, I'm doubtful we'll ever see a change in that if I rev it up. I um, don't know if maybe we could put it on to, to maybe frequency or something and rev it, see if we get any change. Um, see if I can do this. a bit of change there. You can see it changing. So I don't know for ease if I can um, if I power that off will it let me go into the digital multimeter graphing uh, duty cycle I think isn't it? it does give us a duty there. So we're on 60%. Yeah, so there we go. See our duty cycle, and we see the duty cycle changing, so it's trying to, to change and move that valve. No vacuums going through, so it must need a valve. So, so what I'm saying from now is we're going to need to get a new solenoid. I think we've uh, pretty well gone through all that, so we'll get a new solenoid on, so we get our boost pressure back. I um, don't think we need to worry about our turbo, that seems to work, just put vacuum straight to it. Don't see that we've got a boost leak. Um, I might just check that off camera for smoke machine, but yeah, I don't see it. It doesn't look like it should have a boost leak. Um, and then hopefully we can get it on a drive and get rid of this um, GPF fault as well. Um, as I say I think it's just a knock-on effect from speaking to the customer earlier. So uh, thanks for watching. Come along to the next one.